All right, friends, today we're going to be practicing the lattice method of multiplication. Now, keep in mind that right now we are just practicing. So I do want you to attempt the lattice method. However, if when you are doing multiplication and you don't like this method, do not use it. Except for today, because I want you to practice just in case you're like, oh my gosh, this is like the best thing ever. Okay? Please make sure you have already watched the first video I posted on the slide above. That's probably the simplest breakdown of this method. The other two videos go more in detail as to why this works, but that first one is your basic video that you absolutely should watch, and then watch the other two, okay? But we're going to do about three problems, okay? I am going to be um, drawing my lattice. If you want to have your whiteboard and a marker and you want to draw your lattice too, go ahead. If you have a printer and you know how to work your printer, I will be attaching um, a file that you can print lattice sheets if that's easier for you, okay? So you can use whichever one you want, but I don't have a printer, and so I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so very simply, let's say we're um, going to multiply 13 times 24, okay? Just like that girl in the video, okay, you have to draw a square, okay? Enough where you can have two digits going down and two digits going across, okay? I made mine a little bit bigger. That's all right. I then um, cut it in half for the 13, the 10's place value and the 1's place value. And then I cut it in half horizontally for the um, tens place value and the ones place value. Okay. Then you have to, so we have 13 times 24. Then you have to cut each square in a diagonal in half. I extend it down a little bit because that will help us add. Okay. This is probably the most confusing part, but listen and watch and I will explain why. Okay. Yes, my lines are straight, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to use a different color. And then you kind of match up place values. You're never going to multiply a number like this is 13, so we're not going to multiply 1 and 3, and this is 24. We're not going to multiply the 2 and the 4. We're going to multiply the 2 and the 3, the 2 and the 1, the 3 and the 4, and the 4 and the 1. Okay? So the first number, we're going to multiply um, 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, think of this top half as the tens place value and the bottom the ones place value. Three times two is six. There are no tens. You have to have that zero and there are six ones. Okay, does that make sense why we have to have that zero? Then I go to the two times one. Well, I know two times one is two. The top is the tens. There are no tens and there are two ones. Okay. Then we do 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, I know in 12 there are two ones and one ten. And then my last one is 4 times 1. I know 4 times 1 is 4. There are four ones and zero tens. Okay, then, then I'm all done filling in my grid. Then I just add. You have to add diagonally. So I kind of look at my for my diagonals. There's one. Here's two. Oops, that's really squiggly. Here's three. And this one's the fourth. You're only adding what's inside those kind of barricades. So the first barricade, there's a two. So I put that down here. Two. The second barricade, I see a 6, a 1, and a 4. I add those up. I know 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So just like regular adding, I put the 1 down, I carry the 1 over. I have a 0, a 2, and a 0. 
So 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2 plus 1. I can't forget that 1 that I carried over is 3. And 0 plus nothing is 0. So I don't have to have anything there. And then I kind of make an L with my numbers. Look, I make, I kind of look down. And then I look across. So the first number that I see is a 3. And then I see a 1 and a 2. So my answer with the lattice method is 312. If you want, check your work with a calculator or do the standard algorithm again. I can do that real quick. I know that's 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 5. 52. Uh, put my 0 there because I can't park in the 1s anymore. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times um, 1 is 2. Add those bad boys up. 2 plus 1 is, or 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. 2 plus 1 is 3. 312. Let's try um, another one, and you're going to work with me this time. Okay, another example. Let's solve 36 times 27. Okay, so you're going to draw your lattice or work on your sheet. Okay, I do this real quick. Now make sure you're nice and neat so you can read your work. Okay, so I know I have 36 times 27. Now I want to do my diagonals so I can... Do... That one was not very good. That's okay. Now remember, this is just practice. Some of you are going to hate this. Some of you are going to really like it. We're practicing today, but it doesn't mean that this is what you have to do. All right, let's now multiply. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 2. I know 6 times 2 is 12. Remember, the bottom number is the 1s. I know in 12 there's two ones, and the top half are my 10s. In 12 there's one 10. So 6 times 2 is 12. Then I go to 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. So in 42 there are four 10s and two ones. Okay, then I move over to my 3. 3 times 2 is 6. I know there are 0 10s in 6 and 6 1s. And then I do 3 times 7. It's 21. I know that's 2 10s and 1 1. Okay, now I add in my kind of zones. So my first zone is 2. Easy. That's just 2. In my second zone, I have a 2, a 4, and a 1. So I add those up. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's a 7. Then my third zone right here, I have a 1, a 6, and a 2. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then I have 0. I'm not going to include that because I don't need it. We don't put zeros in front of our numbers. And then to figure out my answer, I look down, and then I look across from left to right, Okay, and I just write the numbers that I see in that order. I see a 9, I see a 7, I see a 2. So 36 times 27 is 972. Again, I'm going to go over and check it with my standard algorithm. Okay, I know 6 times 7 is 42. Put the 2 down, carry the 4. Um, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25. So that was like multiplying 7 times 36. Then I put my 0 down because I'm done with my 1's place value. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. Cross that out. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Add those bad boys up. I have a 2. I have a 7. And I have a 9. Oop, that's a really big 9. And what do you know? 972. 
All right, one more example. Okay, let's say final example. We are multiplying 38. So that's a 3. 38 times 64. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Okay. So let's do it. Draw your lattice or use your sheet. Okay, do this with me. Maybe you can even beat me. Beat me to my um to the answer. 38 and 64. Do your diagonals. Mine are really kind of wonky. That's okay. All right. I'm going to switch colors. I know that 8 times 6, uh, 6 times 8 or 8 times 6 is 48. There are 4 tens, 8 ones. Good. I know that 8 times 4 is 32. So you have a 3, 3 tens, 2 zeros. I know 3 times 6 is 18, 1 ten, 8 ones. And 3 times 4 is 12, 1 ten, two ones. Now I multiply by my zones. Zone one right here, just two. Zone two, I have an eight, a three, and a two. I know eight plus two is 10, plus three is 13. Uh, bring down your three, carry the one over to your next zone. I know that um, I have now a four, an eight, a one, and a one. I know eight plus one plus one is 10. Plus 4 is 14. Carry that 1. I have a 1 and a 1, which is 2. So now to get my answer, I look down and left to right. And I write what I see. And I see a, I'll do it in a different color. I see a 2, a 4, a 3, and a 2. So 38 times 64 is uh, 2,432. Again, I can um, check my answer. 8 times 4 is 32. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Put that 0 down because you can't park in the 1's place value anymore. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 3 is 18. 19, 20, 20 22. Oops. 22. Make sure you're lining up those numbers. All right. 0 plus 2 is 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 2. And you get the same answer. On the next slide, you're going to have three problems to practice. Try your best using the lattice method. Take a selfie of either your board or your lattice sheet. Okay, and check it with a calculator or your standard American algorithm. Good luck.